Hello. Hello, hello. How are you, my dear students? Welcome to your class. Hello, everybody. Hello, Alejandro, Rosario, Mr. Maximo. Hello, how, how are you? Good evening. <laughs> Me habían dejado en espera ahí. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Happy Friday. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. It's a pleasure to see you again. Today, we are going to have a nice Friday class. It is nice to see you every day and not until the next Monday. Right? Because in some cases on Thursday, I feel that I, I spent like, ee, like one week without seeing you. Well, I have five people connected, Maximo, Rosario, Alejandro, Carlitos, and me. Okay, today we are going to finish the topic for section number one. We're going to finish talking about the verb to be. We are going to finish working on the different phrases that we were working yesterday. I don't know if you had the opportunity to work on your homework on the sentences that you had to do for you to practice the verb to be and the possessive adjectives. Let me know if you had the opportunity to work on that. Yes, no? No. <laughs> no, that, that's very good because you are very honest, right? I, I love that when you are very honest. Well, so today we're going to work a little bit on that. Don't worry. Hello, Rosemary. Welcome. Hello, Sonia and Ceci. So let me open my hello, presentation. Teacher. Hello, hello. Let me open my presentation. We are going to wait for Maximo. We can only see the bar there. Yeah. Maybe he's going to prepare a couple of drinks for the class. Some lemonade, mango juice, jocote juice. Yes. Things that are very healthy, right? <laughs> there he comes, you see. Hi, Maxim. Hi. Hello, Maximo. How are you? <laughs> I cannot listen to you. Now I can. <laughs> I, I'm fine. And you? I was waiting for my drink. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> because we saw you very busy there preparing the drinks. And I said, maybe he's going to bring drinks for the class. I said, <laughs> it's Friday and, and we all know it. <laughs> We all know that we have to study English. That's that's it. <laughs> okay, I was opening my presentation. Let me just share it with you. And for sure, we are going to have the chance to actually work a little bit on the platform as well. We are going to go and check on the platform a little bit to see and to advance a bit on it, okay? So, did you all visit the platform? Did you all have the opportunity to actually go and check your course? Tienen todos acceso a la plataforma? Han entrado a realizar ejercicios? Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Perfect. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Excellent. So we are going to check a little bit on the exercises that you are supposed to work by today. 
and for us to continue working on the topic, okay? Let me just open it for everybody because in that way we can actually advance, right? All the advance and the calendar that I shared with all of you. And uh, because that's the idea, right? That you share and you advance on the calendar as well, okay? So yesterday we were talking about uh, sentences with the verb to be and sentences with adjectives, right? With possessive adjectives. Today I have this little practice for all of you, right? Welcome. And according to what we have been studying, right? According to what we have been doing, this, for example, I have here a sentence and I have two options of answers. And it says, for example, here, it says here, hi, I'm Liz. And it says, oh, hi, right? That's the most appropriate answer for that sentence. Because in that case, you cannot say, hi, I'm Liz. What do people call you? And it's like, Liz? <laughs> so it's not logical to ask that question, right? You say, oh, hi, right? Because if you say, what do people call you? It's like, ¿Y cómo te llama la gente? If she's saying that, she's Liz, right? It will be illogical to make that question. If you make this sentence, for example, my name is Jim Holmes. What do you think it's the most appropriate answer? Nice to meet you, nice Mrs. To meet you, Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. Nice to meet you, Mr. Holm. Why? Because it's the last name. Because okay. you use the last name, right? With Miss, Mr., you use the last name, the last name of the person, right? Very good job. What about the next one? This is Jenny Parker. This is Jenny Parker, and I present Jenny, right? Ta -da! Hello, Ms. Nice to meet Jenny you. Parker. No, Mrs. Hello, Parker. Mr. Jenny Parker. Okay, it says, this is Jenny Parker. And in that case, say, hello, Mrs. Jenny Parker. In this case, if I am introducing nice the to person, meet you. the best would be to say, nice to meet you, right? If I say, for example, oh, hi, this is, uh, Pabl hey, Pablito didn't come to, <laughs> this is Pablito, you say, and say, Nice to meet you, Pablito, right? If I introduce someone to the class, hello class, this is Alejandro Molina. You don't say hello, Mr. Alejandro Molina. No, I say nice to meet you, right? Because I am introducing the person to the class. What about this one? Hello, I am William Dean. Please call me Bill. Hello. Pleased to meet, to meet you, Bill. Why? Why do you think that's the best option? Pleased to meet you, Bill. Please call me, Bill. Exactly. He says, please call me, Bill. Right? No me llamen de otra manera. Please call me, Bill. And you're not going to say, please to meet you, Mr. Dean. No, right? It will be not a possible dead answer. The next one we have here. Excuse me, what's your name again? Joy King. Joy King, right? Because you are asking for the name. You are not asking for spelling, spelling right? You are asking for the name. And then like the next one, the last one. How do you spell your first name? C H A R. C H A R L E N E, right? Charlene, Charlene. If I ask, Miss, for example, yes? Miss, ¿por qué la diferencia de estas dos, disculpe, de las últimas? ¿Por qué en la primera se dice el nombre y por qué en la otra se deletrea? Because it, this is the question. How do you spell? ¿Cómo deletreas tu primer nombre? Es lo que le están preguntando. Mm. How do you spell your first name? If I ask, for example, in the different... In a different question would be, uh, what is your first name? If I say, what is your first name? In that case, if I am making this question, you say, eh, Charlene. I'm Charlene, right? Mm -hmm. what, will be, what will be the sentence for 
this answer. Tenemos las otras respuestas, las que no eran posibles. Pero, ¿qué oración es posible para ocupar esa respuesta? What do people call you? ¿Qué tendríamos que haber usado antes? ¿Qué tendríamos que haber dicho antes para que alguien me diga, What do people call you? Any idea? All the answers are possible. Así que cualquier, cualquier respuesta es correcta. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y posible. What do people call you? ¿Qué tendría que haber preguntado para que le dijeran esa? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Con quién hablas tú? Uh, okay, Alejandro, what was yours? And then Elizabeth. Uh, don't call me Liz. Eh, o sea, creo yo que quizás era como una afirmación para que le hicieran una pregunta. Don't call me Liz. Okay, no, no, no. In that case, that sentence is not possible for this exercise. En el ejercicio de hi, I am Liz, la respuesta correcta sería oh, hi. Y hasta ahí. Pero qué ejercicio o qué pregunta o qué oración teníamos que tener antes para que esta funcionara what do people um, call you my name is no no hi i'm liz and last name okay plus it, last name okay plus the last name sonia what is your your option what is your name mm, if i ask you what is your name I am going to answer you, what do people call you? Mm, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> imagine, imagine that I say, um, my name is Elizabeth Hirong. And I say, what do people call you? Ah, people call Elizabeth. me Ellie or Liz or Elizabeth, right? In that case, the phrase will be, this phrase will be to answer or to ask in this case, ¿Y cómo te dicen? Right? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo te dice la gente? Imagine, in my case, for example, my name is Natalie, but no one, in, I think no one, only my mother when he's angry, calls me Natalie. Because everybody says Nati, Nat, N. That's how people call me, right? And in that case, the question is, what do people call you? ¿Y cómo te dicen? Ah, they call me Nati, right? In this case, for example, to have the answer, hello, Miss Jenny Parker, what would be the first interaction? ¿Qué tendrían que decir primero para que yo responda, hello, Miss Jenny Parker? Huh, huh, huh. Hi. Hi. Hello, Miss Jenny Parker. But how do I know that you are Jenny Parker? ¿Cómo supiera yo que tú eres Jenny Parker? I am Jenny Parker. Ajá, very good. I'm Jenny Parker. Hello, Miss Jenny Parker. Very good job, right? I am making you think, right? Me gustan los ejercicios donde ustedes piensan más allá de la A, B, A, B. Hmm. The next one. What will be the option for you to use this answer? For you to use... K-I-N-G. How do you, do you spell, spell your, your name? last name? Last how name. do you spell your last name? Okay, how do you spell your last name? And for the next one, right? As I gave you the example, I am Charlene. What is your first name? I am Charlene. Or what is your name? I am Charlene. Good, good job, right? This is, it's good because you think outside the box. And you say like, hey, yes. In, in which cases do I use the other ones, right? And you need to use your critical thinking skills. They are always necessary. Not to say A, B, C, D. No, right. And in this one, I have here a couple of questions for all of you. And uh, what we are going to do with this one is that we are going to complete the sentences, right? This is very simple because we are going to use either the verb to be or a possessive adjective. In this case, I need you to use your notebook and from one to 11, I need you to write the answers. Only the answer, not the complete sentence, only the answer. And then I am going to give you one number for you to give me the answer, okay? I am going to do the first one. You say, my teacher is, 
is rest. It, this is the only thing that you are going to write in your notebook, okay? So from one to 11, hagan una lista del 1 al 11 en su cuaderno y le ponen las respuestas, okay? Don't say the answers. Leave the other ones think, okay? Analyze the sentence and write the answer. Okay, I am going to give you two minutes to do this. Go ahead, from one to 11, only the answer. If you want to copy the complete sentence, that's perfect. I listen to people. <laughs> okay. One more minute. Okay, when you finish, raise your hand on the platform, okay? Todos los que van terminando, suban la manita en la plataforma, please. Thank you. Thank you. Ahí dejen la levantadita. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay, okay, very good. I think most of you have finished. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, thank you. I have a couple of hands up. I am, I have four hands up. Okay, I need you to hurry up and finish. Good, good, good. Excellent. Okay, six hands up, that's very good. And I think we are about to finish. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so we're going to start. I have all the hands up and I have Sonia Araceli. Can you give me number one? Carlos Antonio is going to give me number two. Rosemary, number three. Alejandro, number four. Let's see. Ana Maritza, number five. Cecilia, number six. Elizabeth, number seven. Evie, number eight. And... Nancy Maldonado, number nine. 
En máximo, number 10. Ok, go ahead, Sonny. We are at school. We are at school, right? We are at school. In that case, you are using we are at the verb to be. Very good. We are at school. Number two. Thanks. Thank you very much. Where is my dictionary? Where is my dictionary? Where is my dictionary? Number three. Where is, where is it? What is it, right? Very good. What is it? The next one, number four. I have 11 years old. I? What did you say? I? I, have. I am. Remember, I. with the H, you say I am. I am. Con las edades en español decimos tengo. I have. But in English, it's not possible. In English, you use the verb to be, right? Because you don't say, eh, yo tengo tantos años. In English, you say, yo soy. Yo soy, ¿qué? De 10 años. Yo soy una persona de 15. Right? You say, I am. In that case, I am. The next okay. one. Thank you. The next one, number five. Number five. Who was number five? Are you okay? Are you okay? Very good. Are you okay? Very good. Number six. We are students. We are students, right? We are students. Very good. Number seven. Murai is my brother. Murai is my brother. Number eight. Susan and Sarah are my friends. Thank you, Evie. Even when I got you on the spot, right? Entrando a agarrar, pobre Evie. Susan and Sarah are my friends. Very good job. Number nine. I am from Spain. I am from Spain, right? I am from Spain. Number 10. Mr. Maximo, I think it's number 10 for you. John is English. John is English, right? Because you are talking about the nationality, right? John is English. Number 11. Sarah, they are friends. Too. They are friends. Teacher. Very good job, Rosario. They are friends. Excellent job, right? In this case, we were using the verb to be for the different uh, people there. Rosemary, give me number four. For me, heard. Yes. I am 11 years old. 11 years old. Very good. Arnoldo, give me number seven. Seven. Murray is my brother. Murray is my brother. Very good. Carlos Antonio, give me number 11. 11. Eh, they. Uh, my friend. They? My friend. They what? They my friends? No. No. They? Are. They, they are. They are my friends. Very good job. Because in Perdón. that case, you are missing the verb to be. No, it's okay. It's okay. That's the importance of learning, right? We, we can learn from each Pre other. Pregunta, teacher. Pregúnteme. En la 10... Eh, para saber, eh, porque está hablando de, de nacionalidad. Ajá. No es de, de idioma. No. Ah, ok. Haber puesto call, Speak. <risas> John, call inglés. Ok, in that case, depending on the context, right? Depending on the context and depending what you are talking about. Ahí va a depender mucho de qué está hablando en la conversación, en qué parte de la conversación va esa oración. Porque, por ejemplo, si está hablando de John y dice, John is 14 years old, he is from, eh, I don't know, eh, from Spain, John speaks English, John eh, loves English, right? In that case, you are talking about things from John. But in this case, as you are using the verb to be, 
to have the two options, only is or are. And in this case, it's not possible are because it's a man, he. He is English, right? But okay. we have a, a lot of possibilities. John loves English. John speaks English. John uh, knows a lot of English, right? We have the different options there. But it will depend okay. a lot Thanks. on the... Thank you. Thank you for asking, right? It will depend a lot on the context of the sentences. Okay, I am going to change my presentation. I'm going to go to this one here, right? You didn't do your homework on the sentences or did you do it? Mm -hmm. ¿Se acuerdan que ayer estábamos haciendo el ejercicio de I am Natty, my name is Natty, she's my mother, her name is this and this. Ajá, ajá. And Mr. Alejandro was very honest. And he said like, no, teacher, I, I didn't have time <laughs> to do the homework. Do you have examples of the homework from yesterday? At least one or two. I have one example, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Vilma. Okay. My husband works in San Salvador City. His name is Walter. Very good. Excellent example. Excellent example. Another person who has an example? Talk now or keep silent until Monday. No. Can you introduce Maximo to me? Anybody? Can me present a Maximo de la clase? Imagínense que nadie lo conoce, pero usted Yo. sí. Ajá, go ahead. Okay. Uh, hi, teacher. Hi. He's Maximo. Oh, hi, Maximo. He's uh, hi, teacher. my partner. <laughs> <laughs> He's my partner, right? Maximo, introduce another person to the class. Rosemary. Hey. Hi, hi, Rosemary. How are you? Hi, I'm happy. Carlos Antonio, this is from Mary, my new classmate. Hi, Rosemary. Hi. How are you today? I'm uh, fine. Thank you. Excellent job. Now, Carlos Antonio, introduce another person to the class. Ya los que pasaron ya no se vale. Introduce eh, another person. Ajá. Hoy. Tic, perdón, tic, tic, perdón. Tic. <laughs> Introduce one person to the class. Preséntenos a alguien de la clase. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. Eh, eh, she is, is Maritza. Oh, hi, Maritza. How are you? Teacher. How are you? How are you? I am doing good. <laughs> I am doing good. Thank you. Thank you. I am very fine. And you? Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> nice to meet you, Maritza. <laughs> okay. I think I think we are we are slow slow learners here. Okay, good. Very good. Excellent. Now, we are going to go here to the next part. Thank you very much, Maritza, for introducing yourself to the class. Okay, we are going to stop a little bit on the WH questions, right? This is something that I know that you know already, right? The WH questions are very popular in English because we use them for many different purposes, right? But in this case, for example, they are, um, very useful for information, right? What, in the case of what, you are asking for information about something in general, right? The examples that I have, can you read them for me? What are the examples that I have for what? What is your name? What is your name and? What is your age? What is your age, right? Remember the pronunciation of the W is what right what 
What is your name? What is your name? What is your age? For where? In which cases do you use where? When you are asking for? Please. Place. For a place. What are the examples that I have there? Where is El Salvador? Where is El Salvador? And? Where are you right now? Where are you right now? The next one is how. How? How are you? What how is the purpose you? of how? Asking for? How are you? A manner. Asking for a manner, right? Asking for a way. And it says, how are you? How are your classes? Right? Because you are going to end with uh, a feeling or with a manner of something. How are your classes? They are very good. They are bad. They are boring. They are horrible. They are excellent. I don't know, right? How are your classes? Who? The, per the question, who is for uh, when you are asking for a person, right? Who is she? Who is the girl uh, with glasses? Who is the girl with glasses, people? Who's she? Sonia. She is Sonia. She is Sonia. Okay. Who is the handsome boy with the glasses? Uh, me, me, everybody. <laughs> Todo buscando los lentes. <laughs> who, is the, who is the man with the glasses and the blue uh, shirt? Yeah. Who's he? Alejandro. He is Alejandro, right? No he is Alejandro. No <laughs> okay, let me see. Who is the lady with the gray tank top? Who is the lady with the gray tank top? Tank top is camiseta de mujer, right? Tank top. Rosemary. She is Rosemary, right? She is Rosemary. She is Rosemary. Okay. Who is the lady with the striped white and red shirt? Huh? All the camera check. <laughs> she's Nancy. Uh, she's, she's Nancy. <laughs> she's Nancy, right? She's Nancy. A striped, rayada, right? With the striped red and white shirt. So, who is the man with the gray hair? What is his name? Juan. His she, name. He's Juan. Is... His Juan. name Juan. is Juan. Juan Cruz. Juan, Juan Cruz. Mr. Cruz. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. He's smiling. <laughs> yeah, very smiley man. Definitely. So, who is the girl? Who is the who is the girl with the white uh, top? Who is the girl with the white top? Elizabeth Hiron. Elizabeth. She is Elizabeth Hiron. Right. Very good. Elizabeth. Very good job. So that is the way you use the question who, right? Because you are looking for a person. And who is that? Who is that lady with the microphone from Inglés Corporativo? Who's she? She is the teacher. She's, she's, she's the my teacher, teacher right? <laughs> she's she Nati. Awesome. She's Nati. She's my teacher. Good. Very good. And the next one, the question when when asking for a specific time and what are the examples that i have when is your birthday when is your birthday and when the is class. the class when is the class right when is your birthday and when is the class right in this case if i ask you um sonia when is your birthday my birthday is um first November. First November. Good. Let's see. Elizabeth, when is your birthday? Uh, repeat please. When Me. is your birthday? Uh, my my birthday is in March um four. March four. Ah, you four. were just celebrating your birthday last month. Yeah. Nancy, yeah. when is your birthday? 
18 of September. Okay, 18 September, right? We are very close to each other. So I have here some examples of questions, right? When it says like, what's your name? What is the answer? My name is? My name is, and then you give me the name, right? In this case, I have Beth here, but you are not Beth. Where is your friend? He's in class. He is in class. Who is Carlos Antonio? He's my she's, classmate. She's my classmate. He's, he's my classmate. <laughs> She's my classmate. Hey, people. Automáticamente he's... se le quitó el bigote. <laughs> he's my classmate. What are your classmates like? What are your classmates they, like? They are very nice. They are very nice, right? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? We're people? from El Salvador. Oh, from, we are from El Salvador, right? Or you can say, I am from El Salvador. If you want to make a specific answer, right? I am from El Salvador. And how are your classes, people? Do you like your classes? They are really interesting. They are really interesting, right? Good. But the question was not that one. It said, like, do you like your classes? Yes, yes or no? Yes, yes. 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 I like. And I was like, oh, no, they don't. <laughs> Good. No, I, 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 I do my best. I do my best because you deserve the best. Ustedes se merecen lo mejor de lo mejor. So I, I do my best every day. I have here some examples of answers and I need you to give me the questions. If I have the question, she's from Miami, what will be, sorry, if I have the answer, she is from Miami. What will be the question? Where, Where is, she? is she from? Where is she from? Why? Because uh, say a place. Because you are looking for a place. Very good. It's Cecilia. What Hi, is her teacher. first name? What is her first name? <laughs> Cecilia, yes. <laughs> what is her first name? It is Cecilia. In this Celia. case, Celia. But I wanted to make Cecilia as the example. Thank you, Cecilia. You are my living example. The next one. Their names are Jeremy and Karen. What question do you need here? What are... What, what are names? Uh, it says the two students over there. Who are? Very good. Uh, yes. It says are. who are. It, yeah. It's like, for example, when you are in, I don't know, when you are in, in your office and you see strange people, right? And you're like, hmm, who are the people over there, right? Auditory. Ah! <laughs> Sorry for the auditors here. <laughs> Sorry. Their names are Jeremy and Karen, right? When you say over there, it's because you don't know. It's so like, hmm, who's the person there, right? Uy, alguien aquí en mi casa tira guacales. <laughs> it's Kiara. She's, she's angry. My dog. <laughs> the next one. They are from Vancouver, Canada. T -shirt. T -shirt. Yes? I have a question. Question. In the number four, the question is uh, yeah. specific. Yes. Their names. Their names are Jeremy and Karen. But okay. in this case, in this case, when you use the question, who, and it says, who are, uh, who are the two people, who are the two mm -hmm. students over there? ¿Quiénes son esos dos estudiantes de allá? And I say, ah, their names are Jeremy and Karen. Okay. In this case, that's why they have a specific answers. It says like, for example, imagine that I ask the question here to the class and I say, um, who's the man in the yellow house? What is his name? Who's the man in the yellow house? 
I am pointing at him. Yellow, yellow. <laughs> he is, or he is his Alejandro. name he is, is Alejandro Molina. His name is Alejandro Molina. Alejandro Molina. Okay. Yeah. Who is the lady in the light blue house? Let me see. <laughs> Ay, silenciada las cámaras hasta que Dios venga. Cheese, <laughs> Vilma. In the light blue house. Light blue. Light blue or light green. In this, His no, it's light blue. Juan it's Mary. Cruz. Juan Cruz. The lady. Mary. <laughs> Who's the lady in the light blue house? La Casa Celeste. ¿Quién es la de la Casa Celeste? Rosemary. Rosemary, right? Rosemary. Who is who is the man sitting in the bar? Uh, is Maximo. He is Maximo, right? He is Maximo, right there. Okay. Who is the lady sitting in the living room with a mirror at the back? Uh huh. With a mirror. Saben que es un mirror, vea. En espejo. Uh, yes. a mirror at the back. Nancy. Nancy. Rosario. Oh. Rosario Mejía. Rosario, right? Rosario. Who is the lady with a window behind her? Nancy Gutierrez. Nancy, Nancy Gutierrez. Very good. Who is the lady next to the curtain? Who is the lady next to the, to the Christmas curtain? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, right? Very good. So that's the form of the question. When you say like, who? Who's that, right? And you have to be very specific when you answer, right? Ah, ese es la teacher. Huh? Ese es Elizabeth. Cuidadito que le quiten la cortina. <laughs> Mi mamá cuida su cortina también. <laughs> so in that case, that's why it's who. And this one, when I say, they are from Vancouver, Canada. What would be Where? the question? Where, right? Where are they from? Where? Where are they from? Where are they from? Where are they from? Good, very good. And the next one, they like, they are shy, but very friendly. What they like? Uh-huh. Another option? How, how, like. how, 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 they like. very good, because you are expressing How's. a manner, right? How, how, in this case, you say how are, um, because we have they, like. we have how are Why? they like. like, how are they like, como son ellos, they are shy, but very friendly, if I ask you, hey, how are you like, how are you like, if you ask me, I am very talkative, and sociable, and noisy, and strict, right? How are you like? Give me your answer. Como es usted? I'm, I'm very nice. I am very nice, says Nancy. How are you like? Give me more examples. Arnoldo, how are you like? Mm -hmm. Serious, angry, happy, talkative. How are you like? Mm, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good, right? You're a pretty good person. Rosemary, how are you like? Happy. Happy. <laughs> are you shy? Are you shy, Penosa? <laughs> a, a little, you say, a little. Elizabeth, how are you like? Mm, I am, I am a little crazy. So, so. I am a little crazy. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Evie, how are you like? Okay. Huh? What happened? We lost Evie. I am a little what? Yeah. No, no, no. I, 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 la tengo de vuelta. Can you repeat, please? I'm tired and I'm stressed. <laughs> but as a person, how are you? Ya como humano sin estrés. 
Are you happy, talkative, serious? Serious, yeah. Serious. Good, very good. Yeah. Let me see. Mr. Juan, how are you like? Uh, friendly. Friendly. Happy, happy right? <laughs> I can see that you're very happy. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Very good job. So that's the question. How are you like? Let's see. For this one, I am going to ask Ana Maritza and Damaris to help me with the conversation. Can you help me to read the conversation like this? Ana Maritza and Damaris. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes. <laughs> That's another conversation. <laughs> hey, baby. How's it going? Fine. Thank you. How are you? Are you? Pretty good. So, are your place interesting this semester? No. Yes, they are. I really love, I like chess, chemistry, chemistry. Chemistry. Are you embedded in the same class? No, we are, we are, in, we are in my class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I am on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? So, let's go. Okay. Group, thank you very much, ladies. Yay. Thank you for helping me. Group, pronunciation uh, problems that we can solve. ¿Algún, ¿Alguna pronunciación incorrecta que escuchamos? Y uh, ¿Vamos a corregir? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay, Maximo, can you give me, can you help me with one? Cafeteria. Cafeteria, right? Cafeteria. Another. Uh, cafeteria. Cafeteria, right? Cafeteria. Another word that we can fix? Chemistry. Chemistry, right? Chemistry. Very good job. Another one. Semester. Semester, right? Semester. I can correct this one when you say sure, 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 sure. sure. let's go, sure, let's go. Okay, people, repeat with me. Hey, David, how is it going? Hey, David, how is it going? Hey, David, how is it going? Hey, hey David, David. how's it going? Okay, but like we were happy to see David. Hey, David, how's it going? Hey, David, how's it going? Okay, imagínense que nunca me han visto a mí en meses, pero ahí me vuelven a ver. Hey, Nati, how is it going? Hey, Nati, hey, Nati how's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Fine, thanks. How are you? Fine, How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Right? Si vamos a decir que estamos pretty good, tenemos que mostrar que estamos pretty good, but not pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. You <laughs> say pretty good, right? Good. Pretty good. Pretty good. So, pretty good. Excellent, pretty right? Good. Pretty so, good. You say so, and you make a stop. You say so. Are your classes so. interesting this semester? Are you? So. Oh. Are your classes That's interesting, interesting this, semester? this semester? This semester? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they, yes, they are. are. They are interesting right now. Yes, they are. I <laughs> yes, they are. I really yes, love they are. chemistry. I really love I really love chemistry. I really love chemistry. You have to be very careful in this one. Porque si decimos, I really love chemistry. <laughs> you have to give the sec the, the different meaning, right? We say, I really love chemistry. 
I really, really love chemistry. I still love chemistry. chemistry. And now the person says, chemistry? 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 It's like, huh? Chemistry? chemistry. chemistry. Imagine if I say, I really love algebra. Algebra? I really, really? Algebra? I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, I yeah, felt like I, I felt like the memory. Right? I know. Yes, yes. I need to forget. <laughs> so chemistry, and in this one it says, "Are you and Beth in the same class? Are you, Are you and, and Beth, Beth in the same, same class? class? class. 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 Are you and Beth in the same class? Are you and Beth in the same class?" La entonación de las preguntas de yes o no va siempre para arriba, right? Haga el caso que la va dibujando. Are you and Beth in the same class? Are you and Beth in the same class? Are you from El Salvador? Right? Are you happy? Are you and your family living in El Salvador? And the intonation goes up, right? And it says, no, we aren't. No, no, we aren't. No, we aren't. No, we aren't. And in this one, you are going to clarify. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. My class. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Okay, you have to be very careful with this one. Here. Here. Here, 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 to call the person's attention, right? Listen. In, how do you use this in Spanish? ¿Cómo ocupamos eso en español? Escuchen, mira. Escuchen. Mira. 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 And it's Oíme. listen, right? Oíme, right? Oíme. Oíme. Escuchame. Escuchame. But in, 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 in Spanish we say mira. Mira, aunque le estés hablando. Mira. Mira. <laughs> We use it, right? But we say like, hey, boss. listen, uh -huh. mira vos, <laughs> listen. Por teléfono. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> sí. Mira, fíjate. <laughs> And then, then, then oh, you say, viste, viste el audio que te mandé. <laughs> Crazy. Es traducción salvadoreña. As you, uh, can you see? Can you see? You see, I am fixing the problems in Spanish and in English. <laughs> Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria. I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you I'm free? I'm on my way to the cafeteria I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. I'm on my way, way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? 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 ¿Qué le diría a alguien en El Salvador después de esta frase? I'm on my way to the cafeteria. Are you free? And they say... Como la semita. Démosle. They say, si me invitas, uh, come on, bye. Si pagamos. Si va, ay, mando pisto, they say. Okay. So, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Sure. Let's go. Sure. Right? Sure. sure. Let's go. Let's go. Sure. Let's go. Sure. Let's go. Let's go. Sure. Let's go. Sure. Okay. Now let's go. Ahí sí. sería chivo. Vamos. Ajá. Sure. Exactly. Say like, sure. <laughs> well, seguro. Claro. Vamos. <laughs> Va. Démole. No, pero aquí, aquí en El Salvador Spanish. sería chivo. Vamos. Démole. Va Demole. pues. Démole. <laughs> They say, va pues. <laughs> you see? We are we are trans we are translating everything now. Okay, I am going to be Sanhi and all of you are David. Okay, now you know the intonation, you know the proper form. 
remember to give the correct intonation. Okay, one, two, and three. Hey, students, how's it going? Fine, thanks. Fine, thanks. How are you? How are you? Are you? Pretty good. So, are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, yes they, they are. are. I really okay. know. Chemistry. 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 Don't say chemistry, okay? No. Chemistry. 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 I am going to send you. I am going to send you the pronunciation of it, okay? In, in, in four minutes, I'm going to send you the pronunciation of chemistry. And it says, chemistry, are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. Okay, remember the intonation. My class is in the morning, her class is in the afternoon. Um, students, listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria right now. Are you free? Sure. sure. Go. Go. Let's go. Go. Let's go. Okay, now we switch. You are Sanghi and I am David. Go ahead. One, two, and three. Hey, David. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> David. Hey, Daddy. How are you doing? <laughs> One, two, and three. Hey, Daddy. How are you doing? Fine. Going? Hey, Nati. Ah, a David le hablan aquí. <laughs> hey David, how's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? <laughs> this is very hey, good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. So, are you in this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. No, we aren't. My class is in the morning, her class is in the afternoon. Listen, listen. I'm on my way to the cafeteria. Sure. Let's go. Hey, David. Hey, Natty. Go on. Okay, very good job. You did a fantastic job practicing the conversation. So in this case, what type of WH questions can you spot? What type of WH questions can you get from the conversation? WH um, questions. How is it going? How is it going? Very good. How are you? How are you? Another one? Are your class oh. interesting this semester? WH questions? No more. No. Yes, more no teacher. questions. Yes, no um, questions. Are you class? are you and Beth in the same class? Very good. Are you and Beth in the same class? Are your classes interesting? Very good. Another one? Are you free? Are you free? Are you free? Right? And the difference. The WH questions give you extra information. The yes, no questions limit the answer to a yes or a no. If I okay. say, are you in your house? Yes, I am. Yes, I, I am. am. But if I say, where is your house, Maximo? My house is in at Zaragoza. My house is at, at Zaragoza. Zaragoza. Or in Zaragoza, you can say, my house is in Zaragoza. Let me see. Uh, Elizabeth, are you happy? So so. <laughs> so, so. I, I, am, I have I, I you are about to go to sleep, right? En un minutillo la mando a la mando a dormir, pero hay que no me vaya a dormir, oiga. Nada de Facebook ni TikTok ni nada. Ay, sí, sí se le feliz. You will be very happy sleeping, right? In that case, if I say like, Elizabeth, are you happy? And she says, no. I can ask the question, how do you feel? I feel tired, you can say. I feel oh, sleepy. I feel, um, I don't know, exhausted. And because I want to go to sleep, right? Let me see. Nancy, where are you from? 
Where are you from, Nancy? I'm from El Salvador. Exactly. And if I say, is El Salvador big or small, Nancy? Is small. Is small. Is El Salvador small? Yes or no? Yes. 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 So you see how yes. I limit the answers, right? With a WH question, you have a lot of information. With a yes, no question, only yes or no, right? That is the only form that you might have, okay? So we are going to finish with this. As I was telling you, as I was telling you in the examples, the yes, no questions only give you two options. What are the only two options? Yes or no. Those are the only options that you have in a yes, no questions. What is the difference? The yes, no questions start with are or is. And the other ones with what, how, where, when, why, right? And they give you more information. Are you free? Yes, I am or no, I am not. Are you free right now? Yes. Yes, yes I, I am. am. Tell yes, me. Yes, I am. Is uh, your teacher from Mexico? No, she's not. No, no, she's, no she's not. not. No. She's... No, are, she's not. are Anna and Nancy in the same class? Yes. Yes, they are. Yes, they are, right? Uh, are your classes interesting? No. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Max. No. No. Yes. No. Thank you, Max. Ya no puedo dormir entonces. Okay. Yo dormido máximo Ya no pasamos. Thank Bye, you very much. <laughs> Aquí me la llevo para la cama. <laughs> Have a beautiful night, students. And okay, I'm going to see you on Monday. I hope to bring you a more interesting class on Monday. Okay, thank you, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, 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 everyone. Bye, 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 Bye,